Here's some information about the deck headers in Tractor Scratch Pro and Tractor Pro 2. Deck headers are these nine fields that you get in each track deck that provides information about the song currently loaded into that deck. Right now I have the song title, the artist, the key of the song, beats to cue, the current elapsed time, the overall time, the current track BPM, the track's normal BPM, and the current percent tempo change of the song. Deck headers are really important, but they're not talked about that much. I think that choosing the right deck headers for the way you DJ can make your life a lot easier when DJing in Tractor. So if you go into the preferences to the track deck section, at the top is where you can select all of your different deck headers. As you can see, there are many options for you to choose from for the nine slots available in the deck headers section. One important thing that you may want to keep in mind is the top three spots are in a larger font and are in bold. So I like to keep the three deck header types that I find the most important on these three slots. So for me, the track title, the beats to cue, and the current BPM of the song are the most important. To me, knowing the name of the song, where you are in the song, in respect to your next important cue point and the current tempo of the song are the most important. But I mean, this is all personal preference. Let's go through all the deck header options that are available to you in Track to Scratch Pro 2. First, you have Artists, which I currently have in the second slot. Then you have Beats, the current total number of beats from the beginning of the song. Next, you have Beats to Cue, which is the current number of beats counting down until the next cue point. Next you have bitrate, which I know is important to some DJs and to some it's not that important. So this is another one that might just be personal preference. This may come in handy to know if you're mixing a high quality song to a lower bitrate, lower quality song. Next we have BPM, which is the current BPM or tempo in the track. Then you have catalog number, comment, and comment 2, which can all be found in the ID3 tags. Next you have elapse time, which is the current time elapsed on the track. The genre, key, where Tractor can write the key when analyzed, or it may be in the key text depending on where you decide. But I currently have Tractor writing into the key section, which is why I have it selected in my deck headers. Next we have label and mix, which are both found in the ID3 tags as well. Then we have the pitch fader range, which is important if you're using a controller with a pitch fader like the S2 or S4 or something similar. Then we have release, remaining time, then a remixer, which is good if you use that ID3 tag. Then you have stable BPM, stable tempo, then you have the tempo which is the percent change, the title, the total gain, total time, then you have track BPM or you can turn the deck header off completely. Alright guys, I hope you find this information useful because I know that having the deck header section personalized for the way you DJ can make your life a lot easier when DJing inside Tractor Scratch Pro 2. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.